Well, today we're going to take a look at how uh, in Apex you can create a nice carousel banner uh, with some basic CSS uh, and some videos with a text uh, text overlay. Uh, this will show you how to do it in basic form with CSS, and obviously you'll need to, to add more CSS down the road for uh, some responsiveness. But uh, let's get started. So for starters, what we're going to do today is go ahead and create a new page. Let's create a blank page to start with um, and call it carousel test. Inside this blank page, the first thing we want to do is create a region and then create a, uh, a sub region to start with. We'll go into our main region and call it carousel. And then down here for standard, we're going to choose the carousel container. We're going to modify the defaults so you can have it fade and, and all this stuff. But for day, for today, we're just going to do a hidden. Uh, we're not going to put any timer or any animation uh, as it goes from image to image. In our sub container, we're going to also uh, hide uh, the header. All right. Now. Uh, with this in place, we'll simply add a, another uh, subcontainer for each uh, element of the banner, each image or other element of the banner that we want. Uh, for our example now, really what we need to do is, is go get our first image uh, ready. So um, I'm going to show you real quickly how I did it in Photoshop. Um, the first thing that I did was just pull in the image that I wanted to add, do a slight modification to it. So in my case, I wanted to set, I'm going to set the height to 320. So it'll clip the canvas right here. There we go. And I can slide it up or down so it looks somewhat good. Check the dimensions one more time. Make sure we're 1920. So we have, yep, so 1920 by 3, 320. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and export this image. I'm just going to do an export as. Up here we see the JPG. Over here we see the size. That's a pretty big size for a banner image. So I'm going to drag the quality down just a little bit. 85 is good. Go ahead and hit save. All right, now we're going to go back uh, into Apex over here. I go up to our application itself under shared components and we're going to go under static application files and this is really where we can upload uh, our image so i'm going to go ahead and upload our sliding image okay so we can see we've got it right here for the time being i might copy this i can go back to our application And the first thing I'm going to do uh, down here is not only mark it hidden, but I'm going to set the default body height to 320 for this example. Now in the sub container, uh, we're going to do, we're going to add in some HTML uh, to save time. I've got this HTML here. So we're going to have a div class that's with some styling. They'll have both the banner and the background banner image. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put a three there. It's going to have a cover image, so uh, something in front of the background image, and then it'll have our text. With that into place, I'm going to go up here to our page and we're going to add some inline styling. Now we have several pieces of code that we're going to look at here. The first of which is uh, the dot banner. Uh, this will just set the minimum height of our banner to 320. Uh, that's the height that I made the image, uh, but that's also the height that uh, exists 
uh, for the, the banner itself. Um, here, we're going to substitute. This is going to be, you know, like app images. And you'll notice that I had, uh, let me just go ahead, I'll hit OK and save. And I'll show you, I had uploaded a few images beforehand into our static files over here. So you can see app images. We've copied that just for the sake, but we've got our, our banner one, banner two, and then we added three. Uh, and we also have our, our overlay image, our ball overlay. So these images were uploaded before this video. We go back to Rainline Styles. I'm just gonna update the pointers real quick. And then what we're gonna do here is create just one more. Call it three. And then we'll put the name, the name of our image. All right, the final piece that I wanna show you is how you remove the padding uh, so that the banner goes full width. And that's to overwrite the t-body container uh, image padding. Uh, down here is the font for your text that will appear. So I'm gonna hit okay, I'll hit save. I'll go to my sub container, just check it so it says three. Hit run. Right, and now we've got our first image up there and you can see the baseball overlay with the picture in the background and the sample text. Now to add more uh, banners to it, I can simply uh, go here, duplicate, duplicate. And in this case, I'm gonna go image two, which I had coming in. Hit save, refresh the page. We should have three images that we can take a look at. So in a nutshell, that's how you can very quickly create um, a carousel with a background banner with a background image, some, some custom text and some core CSS uh, to go along with it.